<laughs> hey everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to another Merch Talk. And this week we have uh, everybody that's here every week. Hey Chris, hey Jeff, how's it going? It's going good. It's going good. Good. It's going awesome. well. Nice. Jeff looks some... like he's, yeah, Jeff looks like he's oh, busy. On. It's not going as well as it was last week. Hmm. No, we can talk about it though. But it has improved. Has it? I'm surprised, yeah. Well, really? you know, I told you my theory that it was a, we had two gift buying holidays, Mother's Day and Father's Day, and a couple weeks before Father's Day, I I was on fire. Um, five to 10 shirts a day, and it was going great, and I was on track to make 140 shirts this month, and then Father's Day hit, and it's like someone turned off the faucet. And it's been zero to one since then, except for yesterday I had three, and I've sold three this morning as well. So I don't know, maybe. See, that for me, that's the ironic part, is I had my best day the other day. I had five sales in one day, which to me is stupendous. So I was like, wow, this is crazy. Yeah. But, yeah, mine has been. It was doing really well, like Jeff said, and then like tanked just you know a few days ago. But... I think it was the the buy-in holidays are over until Christmas. And so well, here's the thing, too. Somebody, oh, I hate saying somebody in the group, but I can't think of who it was. Don't you but, hate when that happens? Yes, it happens to me all the time. Somebody in the group said they noticed that the they ordered the shirt, and it was like a, over a week or something shipping time. And I, and I noticed that, too. I ordered, I was going to do a shirt... Um, a show about the image, the, ooh, the Adobe capture with the octopus shirt that I did. And so I was going to order the shirt and make sure it looked good before I did the video. Well, then I noticed that we ordered it using Prime. And this was like Monday, last week, late. And it's not due to show up until like three more days. Yeah, that so makes over, sense. Does it show you the days. shipping time before you purchase or after you purchase? I didn't notice it until after. Because I just, you know, do what I do for Prime and think, okay, Prime, go. And then it says. That would affect it cancellations. You know, if they see it after they purchase and they say, hell no, and cancel. It, it may have been there, but I just didn't pay attention. Maybe maybe there was also some issue in the factory in the sh in producing it, some some holdup of some sort. Yeah, American yesteryear in the, in the chat saying oh. Amazon is throttling. Yeah, Amazon. I mean, there may be there. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm going to put on my tinfoil hat for a second here. Oh, you brought it. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Amazon, everyone. Amazon is putting fluoride in the water, and they're throttling all your sales. <laughs> Dude, I need tinfoil. <laughs> all right. But, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, if, if it showed up before. <laughs> Then I yeah, it might have uh, affected I'll take it things. Off. It's gonna be, it's gonna get. But I have it, so we have our tinfoil hats. <laughs> I need to have one on standby for when I. <laughs> but I mean, that may that may have something to do with it because something like this happened in in Q4. You know, when things were real slow shipping and they ran out of colors and stuff. Well, yeah, but that that see, when they ran out of colors, that shows before you buy, and I can see that. Mm -hmm causing slow sales but if it's slow shipping time and you don't see the shipping time until after you make the purchase I don't know it, and I'm not saying it does I'm trying to look myself maybe buy, look at a shirt and see if it shows you the shipping time before you buy yeah and imagine if you were drop shipping from like an eBay sailor like you know oh yeah that's why I don't, I don't drop ship with Amazon stuff yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't mess around with eBay either because eBay is kind of sacred to me. I don't want to mess with that. I put my shirts on on Etsy, but that's about it. I don't want to mess with eBay for something like that to happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me well, let me go look, say hey in the chat real fast. We've got some friends, fifty eight viewers. Hey everybody, uh, Armando's there. Hi Armando and Al and Frox and Fines, <laughs> and American Yesteryear. And Chelsea's there. Hello. A couple of American yesteryear. Is that two different ones? Okay. Hey, Doc and Doodle Doo. And Patricia. And Tracy, HB Picker. Let's see. Uh, Saya Dream. And Camilla is there. And Glenn, the Swamp Picker. Let's see. There's more people coming in. Hi, UGR. And lots of other people. Hello, Tam. I'm going to, yeah. 
If I missed you, apologies, because then I just keep going. It so hello. Your shipping time before you click buy. It does. Yeah. When you go is to your shopping looking? cart, it will say show you the shipping time of each of your items. So yeah, it could affect sales, I guess. So is it showing for you that it's going to be how long? Well, I, Do you have? Um, it said two days. I'm not sure I clicked. It wasn't one of my shirts. Oh, and you have Prime. Yeah. Weird. Okay, maybe. I mean, but you know, maybe it'll start picking up again. We'll see if our theories are. Where's my tinfoil hat? <laughs> so, in the in the chat, who was asking about what's the deal with the tinfoil hat? I guess it's like an inside joke now. I guess. All the conspiracy. Wait, you, the conspiracy theorists are here. Yeah. Amazon's <laughs> throttling the blue in my door. What was the what was the other what were we saying last week that Jeff was like no 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 I don't remember oh, if you're, if you're listing you're selling more if you list more shirts you'll sell more shirts I think oh. that's because you have more yeah, shirts that, I don't know I that don't was know. A, it's not like eBay maybe maybe <laughs> yeah. could be okay so how uh, I we kind of touched on sales but how how like how many do you want to share how many shirts you've sold or what your targets are for this, well, this I've week? passed my target up for the month already. Um, really? That's awesome. My target was 80 shirts because last month I sold 77. So I said my target is 80, and I, I'm at 103, I think, now. Where's my spreadsheet um, for the month summary? Yeah, I'm at 104 for the month right now. That's great. What are you smiling at, Chris? Are you frozen? I think Chris is frozen. Oh, I'm good. I should be fine. Oh, okay. Now you're not. Okay. <laughs> your your picture was frozen, or or it was just you smiling at something. So. Oh yeah. Okay. It's only been thir 14 for the week, but. That's really good. This is so good. But 104 for the month. How many for the week? 14. 14. Oh okay. How about yeah. you, Chris? How's it going? And half of those were today and yesterday. Not bad. No, I, I've been doing. I've been doing good. I, I uh, my last seven days, I sold six shirts. I had that five shirt sale. Um, I don't remember what day it was, but um, yeah. So for a hundred, I think I have like eighty three listings. So that's not bad for me. That's good. And you're on the hundred tier. Yeah, I'm on the hundred tier. And Jeff, you're on five hundred. Yes, I'm still on five hundred. Okay. <laughs> well, I was. Here's my goal: is I want to tear up again before Yang tears up again. <laughs> <laughs> That's my goal. I, I don't expect to tear up until the end of the year, but once I reach 250 shirts, then I'll start tear watching. I think um, I think if they see you're active, they might though. You know. Well, I mean, I, I've been the most active this last month. I went from 100 to 230. Well, maybe it'll jump soon. So let's just say I I, I don't expect to tear up until I at least reach three over 300. Let's okay, so here's seventy percent of. Um, I don't like watches. <laughs> All right, so here's my numbers. Let me do those. So this month, I, I was hoping I was on track earlier in the month to do two k in profits by the end of the month, and I, because of these last few days kind of tanked, I don't think it's going to happen unless things really like shoot through the roof. But I am already exceeding my best month. Wait, wait, dang! Let me get. Play the Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. Well, she's thinking. I don't expect to tear up until I get to four hundred. You, you know what? I wonder if she just froze up. I think she just froze. Yeah, she froze. I think she'll be coming back pretty soon. A mean look too. <laughs> so you said so you said Jeff that uh, some of your sales have been slow. Like for is this normal for you since you were doing this last year? Well, last year I only had like twenty shirts up, so it's hard to gauge last year. Oh, so the, for, so in one year you've really you've really grown in a whole year yeah. tremendously. It's, it's summertime. I expect slow sales. And like I said, right after two gift giving holidays, and there's no other gift giving holiday until Christmas. Now, right. um, it's going to just be summer sales until Q4, I think. Right. So I guess like it. I guess uh, I guess it carried that s slow summer down or s uh, slow 
slow down summer kind of carries over for for everything pretty much yeah, right it's everything all, all e-commerce all my sites are slow i think margaret is queuing up right now our fearless leader is back i my hope eBay I is really slow i mean my ebay is doing exactly what last year did you know it slows down right after april yeah, because for all for all, I don't I sell hard goods and collectibles and and usually my sales are steady, but I've noticed uh, even like the collectibles and stuff like that have slowed down. So like you said, it's like you know holidays, everyone's pretty much out and about having fun. You know, no one's stuck at home looking at a computer, being like, oh, you know, I should buy something. Mm -hmm. So exactly, and I guess I could put my tinfoil hat on for that one too. What's really going on with the I summer slowdown? More on that. <laughs> right, right. Mm -hmm. I mean retailers have the same problem you know I think Mar I think Margaret, so Margaret, the are you there sos i'm here i'm put here mess, put the message in the bottle and throw it overboard there she is <laughs> i'm back nice i don't even know what we're talking about margaret's numbers that's right oh. yeah Okay, I, w I don't remember where it chopped off because all of a sudden it froze. You were looking at your monthly goal that you don't think you're going to get now. I think okay. that's and I think that's what happened is when you were switching over between screens and stuff, it it froze you out. Okay, and I realized I was on the wrong Wi-Fi. I was on my portable Wi-Fi that I take with me when I go out, and then oh yeah. See what I do is I shut down. For me, I shut down all my Wi-Fi connections before I do live shows. Yeah, Pro so it had me in the wrong one. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta fix that. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't know where it was when I, it chopped me off, but yeah, I'm not on target anymore. But I'm still doing better than last month, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> and the que the questions that were in the the chat disappeared for me again. This happened last week. Okay. Oh well. There was only there was only a couple of them. Do you want me to read them? Are we ready for questions? Or are we gonna t do we have any subjects? I have something I want to talk about. Go for it. Real fast, or not fast. Okay, so this I notice this in the groups, and I notice this. I get messages. First of all, if you message somebody wanting information, use your manners, please. Okay, I just have to put that out there. I can't tell you how many messages I get that are like, "What tier are you on? How many shirts do you have live?" And I'm like, I don't even know you, you know? Sorry, I had to put that out there. But come on. Hi, Margaret, how yeah. are you? And don't ask for nudes either. That's totally inexcustable. Yeah, yeah, and don't, don't do send unacceptable. Don't send naughty pictures. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> send them off the jet. No, I hear you. I, for, for me, I'm still a, I guess I would say, like, I'm still a rookie. So I get, because on my channel, I do have some, some merch videos. And uh, some of the people that I know usually are the ones that ask me questions. I don't get random people for the most part, but I did make a video today on how to do a Photoshop um, tutorial to make a, a, a template uh, from scratch. So like, you know, but I understand Margaret, like you, you probably get bombarded by um, people asking you questions. Cause you honestly, I think you're the number one YouTuber on, uh, on the subject of merch. Oh, wow. Send Glenn your, your nudie pics, just <laughs> <laughs> or Jeff. <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, I'll, and th that's the thing. Like, I don't, I, I enjoy helping. I think everybody can be successful. That's not that's not necessarily where I was going with that. But that just reminded me that a lot of the times, the, not even quite. They're like really abrupt questions. But what I'm what I was getting at is the the judgment. You know, like don't one like everybody's on a different level. Everybody's measure of success is different so even when i'm when i sold one shirt i was thrilled you know because i was like you got to frame that and like oh yeah i can go buy some peanut butter and bread at the grocery store that's awesome you know and now i'm at this point but there was there was a i can't remember who it was but in the in the face one of the facebook groups somebody was like i saw this lady on youtube and she has 1000 something shirts up and she's only making such and such a month you know <laughs> like what you know, who, you should be, you sh it was like, should, you should be making way more than that. And I'm just thinking, who are you to say what I should or shouldn't be making, right? Like what I'm doing I'm, is nobody's, you know, nobody's, who cares? I'm happy with it. So I don't know. Anyway, that's my little soapbox. Just be happy with what you can do. If you can do better, awesome. Gong has like 400 shirts up and he does well more than me. And that's awesome. And I'm doing what I'm doing and that's awesome too. Okay. Hey. Yeah, I think this is, I think what we do in the in the reseller community, we kind of 
that's different from any other community that I've been in is we show our numbers and it's kind of a faux pas and like just society that should be like, Oh, this is how much money I'm making and stuff. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that kind of, they don't know the the border of like what's acceptable and like what's not. And there's a lot of rude people out there. I, I, f I feel that you should just, you know, you just, you got to take it. You got to take each individual person um, as it is and just sometimes push people away and then pull people in who, you know, really genuinely need the help and aren't rude and stuff like that for sure. Yeah. And I, I think that's the thing. Like there's a lot of, a lot of judge, even in the reseller, like there's a lot of judgment that goes on with like, oh, well, you're not full time. So you're not credible or you're not, you know, or you don't sell this. So you're not, you know, it's almost that kind of mentality. Like, no, everybody has their own path and everybody has their own, what's <laughs> their measure of success, basically, you know? Right. I think, I think the term is you do you. So everyone out there, you do you <laughs> That's right. stay in your lane, stay in your lane. <laughs> And let me do me because there's nothing else for it, you know. <laughs> anyway, that was my little, yeah. But I get it a lot. I mean, I think a lot of us do, you know, just sort of, why are you not doing better? You know, anyway. Okay, that was that. Yeah. No comment from Jeff. I don't see it. I don't see it. So, you don't see it? Oh, okay. No, cool. I don't get it. I don't get that. And if I did, I wouldn't. I just ignore them and move on. Yeah, exactly. You're exactly. Right. And that's that's probably the best advice too. Just don't let it. Don't, people out there who are watching this, don't let that stuff get to you. It's just going to bring you down. Get rid of the negativity. Push it as far away as you can because you're going somewhere. So just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're right, and it's not going away. So I guess I shouldn't complain because it's going to keep happening. Right. You're not complaining. You're just you're just voicing your opinion, which is a valid you know opinion and. Yeah. And it's something that needs to be talked about because there's a lot of subjects uh, on here that, you know, we don't talk about. And so that's definitely one of them is how to handle uh, rude people that think they can just, you know, invade your privacy. <laughs> well, and then for newbies who, who are like, well, I only make, you know, $20 a month. Am I not doing good? You know, like. Right. And there's okay. also, there's also a skill set too. Not everyone could, could use Photoshop or use pick monkey and, and stuff like that. So like I said, you got to take every individual who, who asks for help, you know, on a person by person basis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was it. That was my little soapbox. So, okay. What we, there are some questions though, in the actual questions in the chat, other than nudies that yeah. people are requesting. <laughs> Android Miller says, where's the, uh, he accepts nudes and so does Richard. <laughs> and no, Amazon does not allow nude pictures for uploads. <laughs> I actually got a couple, of, I actually saved a couple of questions if you want me to read them off. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, HB Picker says, have been approved for a couple weeks and no sales yet. I have switched a few designs up. Uh, would creating drafts help sales because it shows activity? I quite not, I don't understand that question fully. Well, you know how we were taught. Oh, sorry, yeah. go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I was gonna say, like eBay, when you're listing, shipping, all that shows activity to eBay, and so they rank you higher or whatever. On eBay, I'd say yes or maybe. On Amazon, I would say no. Is this I'm a not, of that I'm moment? That. I think so. It's a I'm problem. not buying that on Amazon. And if it's only been a couple of weeks, I, I and nothing against HP Picker, but I see this question a lot in the group. I just loaded a t-shirt it hasn't sold yet. Um, there's over a million t-shirts on Amazon Merch right now, plus other t-shirts that are not on Merch. It's gonna take a while. It can take more than a few weeks. It may take a couple months. And if you're, if you're moving your t-shirts in and out that fast, I would say relax, just put them up there, start exploring other pods, give Amazon a chance work on your keywords and description rather than changing shirts out every two weeks. Yeah. If you have a buddy that you can share with, like have them look at it and say, you know, give tips. I mean, we do that in like the thrifting group, you know, we do shop reviews, but it merch is a whole different beast. So. Yeah. And also I like to add to that is um, you never know what's going to sell. Like, Jeff said there's like a million different shirts you could your shirt that didn't sell for a year you you take it off and remove it and you'll sell it the first day that's so a roll it's such a roll of the dice with Amazon merch sometimes yeah I've had shirts on there that were removed from the 60-day rule twice and I kept on reloading it and it sold the third time up 
I know it's frustrating when you have only 10 slots and you can't work it like that, but you got to have patience. I mean, like that one, Marcus said to you, you can have other people look at your shirt and look at your keywords and maybe they'll tell you it sucks and you should change it out. But um, for the most part, I would just leave it alone for at least four weeks and then maybe play with the keywords. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I, yeah, I think getting a, getting a set of eyes on it too that are, is not like your best friend who's going to tell you, he doesn't want to tell you anything mean or whatever. Oh, it looks great. You know, somebody who will be honest and say, ooh, that's the wrong font. Those are the, those are the best friends to have is someone to tell you when you're slipping for sure. Yeah. Even though even though you don't want to hear it, usually those are the best friends you can ever have. So if you have those kind of friends that tell you what's up but are, aren't quite, you know, negative about it but constructive about it, definitely those are keepers for sure. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> buddy system, buddy system. It's like when you go swimming, right? You need a buddy. <laughs> Is it swimming or hiking? No, I thought it was like just going to the bar or something like that. <laughs> oh, bar. You need a wingman. Yeah, you need someone to like pull you something like that. <laughs> no, no, no. You're beer goggling that shirt. <laughs> That's no good. Uh, Back away. <laughs> so, so we got another question, and I don't know how to say this uh, user's name. I think it's uh, See a Dream. It says, is it best to – oh, I think I worded this wrong. Uh, is it? Oh yeah, it comes down to the brand name. Do they say it's it's best to just have a consistent brand name? I think we talked about this this uh, last week, and she's saying or her or him said they're having trouble tearing up. So should they keep the same brand name? We have different takes on this. Jeff does, right? You you have the I same have, brand name. I, I I yeah, I have one brand name and working my brand. Yeah, I don't. I have all different. I I go with keywords for my yeah, my so brand do I. names. So it works for me and it works for Jeff. So I guess it just depends. Yeah. It just depends. I mean, I, 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 maybe if you're on a lower tier where, you know, you could put the brand names. Can you change the brand name after the yes. shirt's gone live? Oh, sorry. Yes, you can, you can do that. Yeah, you can. Okay. So I mean, maybe all the text. It's the, co it's the colors you can't change, right? Colors you can't change and the image you can't change. Yeah. So maybe if you're, I mean, this is just speculation. Maybe you could try, you know, using keywords when you're first starting out. And then once they start selling, if you're like, okay, now I want to, you know, get it all into my brand, change it to your brand. I mean, it's something to, it's worth a try, you know? Yeah, I always switch it up. If something's not working for you, switch it up. And it'd be actually good to take notes to see uh, what exactly you changed and then kind of use that as a metric to kind of figure out what works for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next question. Hang on. Hang on one second. I got to mute me. Okay, so uh, Talador is asking I was wondering if it was possible to create a different shirt for every color and gender of the same design. Amazon has been rejecting them. I can't get them to understand. Um, Jeff, you want to pick this one up real quick? And I have my own opinion on this. Ooh, I wasn't paying attention. Really. Okay, no problem. So th the question was basically, should they create the same design with different colors and different oh. genders as a single listing? So like multiple listings of the same design, different colors? Yeah, I've done that. Well, I guess it says Amazon has been rejecting them. So I guess maybe if, if you're something doing else. like 30 of them, maybe? No, it's some, it's got to be something else then because Amazon actually, um, like I went over last week, I read their terms of service and actually encourage it in the terms of service. So, uh, but I'm thinking I, what I see, it looks, sounds like they're doing, are they doing like a, a pink female and then a orange female and then a pink male and an orange, like, cause if you did oh. that for every single color of every single, like one color, one gender, if they did that, then yeah, I would then say that might be a bit much. Well, the thing is too, is if in your description, also, if there's like a keyword that's flagged and you did that to all your designs, they're all going to get flagged anyways. Right. Yeah. I mean, what I do is I do my shirt like it's a white graphic and I'll put it on five of the dark colors and then I'll do it again with five more darker colors or a little bit lighter with 
but yeah, I'll do it. And it, it will have the same title, same keywords and everything like that. Um, so a couple times I switched up the keywords a little bit just to kind of do a little EB testing there. But I think it's more the color than the keywords is what sells it. And I had it happen to me just uh, yesterday. I had one of the second variation, still a, a dark color sold. And yesterday it was a different listing for pink. So it yeah. helps. Okay. I've seen a bunch of questions come through. On, I'm sure if we miss yours, then um, pop it in again. Yeah, I'm really, I'm sorry, Margaret. I'm really bad at that this no, week. No, no, no. I am not catch them all. I'm doing it either. Um, How much time do you guys spend on advertising? Zero. Lately, for me, it's been zero, too. I've all I do is, a bit, but. once it goes live, I'll pin it to Pinterest, and then I'll edit my Pinterest listing, and then I'll Facebook it, and then I'll tweet it. And that's pretty much it. And then everyone, no. My Instagram, I, I promote my website, not Amazon. So, zero time. Yeah, I don't, I don't do much advertising anymore. I used to. I'm more afraid of people like kind of messing with my designs and kind of taking some of my niches and figuring out what I do because I still feel like I'm at a lower tier where that's going to be a, a detriment to me. But um, I do the Pinterest thing too. And another pro tip, I think Jeff was trying to to hint to this is you can use an affiliate link and put your affiliate link in the Pinterest link. And so you get double money. You get the money for selling your shirt and you get the advertising money if they purchase things on Amazon for 30 minutes. Blame market for that. <laughs> it's 24 hours. Is it 30 minutes now? I, you it's, know, it's 24 hours, I think. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was 30 minutes for this whole time. So, okay, that's actually way better then. Yeah. I hope. I think that's right. No, you guys are probably right. It's been, it's, I think it is. Yeah, and that's that's pretty much what I do in, as far as advertising goes. I did some during Q4 for on Pinterest, um, but now and I and I used to do a bit more for Instagram, um, but I've really not done that very much anymore. I do pin my shirts now, um, for the most part. Some of them I I don't because just, and I follow her board and steal her ideas. <laughs> And I just, I, I've never reported copycats, but I've reported two copycats this week. Mm. So. Yeah. Yeah, if you copy my stuff, I will find you and report you. And you will lose your account now. <laughs> I actually got a shirt. I actually got a shirt removed. I want to kind of talk about that for a second. So there's like uh, every, here, like Amazon merch isn't all, you know, peaches and cream and roses and everything all the time. I actually had my first shirt taken down uh, last week, and it was I did a different version of. Uh, if anyone saw that Baron Trump, the expert gray shirt that was like yes. it was all over the blogs and everything, I thought like I'd do my own spin on that, and they they took two of them down. So I ended up I did five different designs. So I ended up taking them all down just to be safe. So you know that that was that for me, and that was the first takedown I've ever had on my account. So. I just wanted to talk about that. Yeah, that you got to be careful with some of them like that. Yeah. Did it say the expert as well? There were a ton that went up. Yeah, though. yeah, I know. So that what I think is 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 whoever I think there was a the company that actually started to produce those after it got hot, and I think they might have been manually going in and just going down the line and reporting them all. Mm, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm going through grabbing some more of the questions that I'm seeing. Oh, that's okay. There was a question or rather a comment about keywords that ha was up further up. Um, and I just recorded this today because I've been working on that merch series. And so, yeah, I mean, watch videos. I, I've i done some. I know some other. I mean, I think Glenn has. And Jeff, have you done any? There, A number of the people that do merch videos have done some that you can get some ideas for how to go about um, writing your keywords and stuff. Yeah. Mm, I just make them up. You just make them up? Yeah, I'm bad at that. I'll just make them up on the fly for my title, and then for my description, I put nothing, because every time I put something in there, my shirts get rejected. <laughs> oh. Yeah, forget it. I use, I use all the fields. I use the description. Keep I don't always fill out the description, yeah. I think and I'm sure I just reword the two bullet points 
you know, I'll it's copy and paste the bullet points and rearrange things. But it's just basically describing the shirt and who should wear it. You have That's a lot more idea. space in the description than the bullet points, so I yeah. use it. And I know Joe puts, sometimes if it's like a shirt about, I don't know, bird watching, he'll put a definition of bird watching in there or something like that, just to throw some. Uh, we missed Joe today in his pizza Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, they were taking bets earlier. They were saying we should take bets on where Joe's streaming from today. Uh, yeah, he's uh, for everyone that wonders where Joe is, he's got stuff going on at work, and so he couldn't make it. So maybe next week. Yeah. Okay, okay. next question. So oh, we already read that one. Okay, Camilla was asking, um, how long did it take you all from the start to make a sale? I think it took me a month, probably a month or two. I, I, I don't know exactly when I uploaded my first shirt. I know I signed up and was approved as soon as the program rolled out. And I made a sale in January of 2015, I think it is. Let me check. No, my first, uh, 2016. I had I sold two shirts in January 2016. And I don't know exactly when I loaded those up, so it was about a month. I think mine was about that too. Four or five, six weeks, somewhere in that range. Yeah, that was that's exactly for me too. I think it was a month. I actually purchased my first sales when I first started, I would buy my own shirts because I have a Patreon account for my art stuff and I was do I was making uh, shirts and giving them away to my Patreons when I first started. That's a good idea. It is. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, and James was asking, um, how do you delete completely on shirts I removed? Okay. Oh, you mean like the shirts that the that Amazon pulls down? I don't think you can. Yeah, it still will show up in your dashboard as removed. I wish yeah. it, you can archive it or delete it or something. Just That'd be nice. Because, I mean, like, people that are OCD, they're like, look at this mess, all just junking up my dashboard, right? I'm going through searching for removed shirts that I need to relist, and I see the same shirt four times. It's, it gets confusing sometimes. Yeah. And then Ivan was asking, how do you tear up? Do I need to sell shirts or just upload my limit? Well, the... I read from the terms of service last week and they do state that you have to at least sell a number of shirts of your current tier. So if you're 25 tier and you want to go up to 100, you have to sell at least 25 shirts. But it says beyond that, they are hand picked based on other factors. And those other factors are not given. And then 500 tier of after 500, it's considered pro so they call it invite only so no one really knows what the criteria is beyond that i yeah. think some of it may have changed as far as the how many shirts you've sold though and it may still say that but my sister was on the 10 tier and she's only sold one shirt and she went up to 25. well the key i think the whole thing is subjective because yeah. they say they're hand-picked based not just on sales but other criteria yeah based on content or whatever. Yeah, okay. definitely. I think it's also the positioning of the moon <laughs> and the alignment of the stars is how you get teared up. It's got to, everything's got to be in conjunction, everyone. It's got to be all together and you'll get teared up. It's like magic. And the thing is, everyone gets hung up on that one sentence that once you sold the amount of your current tier, they think it's automatic and it's not. I mean, I, I have uh, over 800, almost 900 shirts sold right now, and I'm still at 500 tier and have been for quite a while. So the stars it's, have not aligned for you. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought the same thing when I was new. I, I thought like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta rush to get 10 sales. I gotta rush to get 25 sales. And and don't they? Hasn't it kind of seemed like they do all these tearing ups in batches, like on a Monday or something like that? Usually, <laughs> I know. Waiting for the Monday. They just did some. Uh, what was it? Uh, Thursday and last week. Right. Lunch, but, yeah. And Monday, everybody was like, it's tear up day. Did anybody tear up? 
I think <laughs> merch is just messing with us. I think it's also, uh, especially for the higher tiers, I think it's, uh, and it's rumor and conjecture and get the tinfoil hat out, but you have to have 70 to 80% of your slots filled up too. What's the point of tearing you up if you can't even reach 50% of your current tier? So that's, that's a, why I'm not worried about it right now. I haven't reached 50% yet. Yeah, Elsie's saying that in the chat. You need at least 80% of your available slots filled in order to tear up at the 500 and up. Maybe yeah, that's, that's why Yang didn't tear up. That's just that's still a theory. Yeah. Well, you know, would, I mean, but that's the that's the consensus right now is 80%. But isn't Yang, what tier is he at? He's still at the 1,000. Okay. And he only has 400 and something shirts. Yeah. Yeah, that could be it. So that's okay. why I said I'm not worried about it until I get 400 loaded, and that's my 80%. So then I'll start posting every other day saying, well, you yeah, haven't I tiered? <laughs> yep, when I, yeah, when I hit that, am I there yet? I should be getting close to selling yeah. 2,000. I'm, I'm happy. I'd rather have more sales than tear up. You know? Yeah, that's true. Because he definitely makes more money than I do. So... That's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So Mitch is asking, how many rejections do y'all receive a week or a month? Zero. Well, since I've laid off the uh, touchy subjects in the past, I have had one or two. I can't remember. I've, I've had at least one rejection, and I've had two removed after the fact. Those were all last year i haven't had any in i'm gonna knock on wood here and i'm nervous months probably since q4 yeah i did when i first well this was back whenever we could upload as many as we wanted like unlimited all day um i this is the super bowl one where i uploaded like 12 super bowl shirts at one time mm -hmm. and i mean it didn't it wasn't a super bowl shirt but in the keywords it said perfect for your super bowl party it was a football shirt and um yeah so all of them got i had and i was in panic mode you know yeah joe's asking yeah, why are sales so slow hey joe is he in the chat yeah he just jumped into the is chat. is that him joe video yes that's such a cool name joe video hey go joe, joe video here <laughs> yeah we i okay uh there was reseller Spotlight had a pretty good question. He says, um, doesn't it say you can purchase your own 10 shirts to tier up to 25? And I think I that might be a gamble. If you have the money, it might be worth it, especially if you like your shirts. I definitely encourage people to buy their own shirts. It's just really cool to have your own stuff. But, you know, maybe it might be a gamble to, to purchase, you know, 25 shirts to tear up. But it's not against any rules. Nope. Yeah. I mean, we... Your money is just as good as anyone else's. We ordered some for the you know like the kids wanted certain shirts so we ordered some for them and like the one with the octopus i wanted to see how it looked before i started telling people how i did the design you know because then if it comes back and it looks all pixelated or weird or something then i have to scrap it yeah they do what you see on your amazon merch account doesn't necessarily mean the quality that you're gonna get when you see your shirt and that's another misconception i think a lot of people think they're going to get these perfectly silk screened clean shirts but they're literally something that's printed on your shirt so mm -hmm. there's a little yeah yeah there's a, there's a loss of quality there yeah my sister ordered one of her shirts and she said the yellow came out to like it wasn't printed enough and so you could see the the black kind of through the yellow paint or you know whatever Right, and, and in screen and in screen printing, they usually put down a white layer and then a yellow layer or a colored layer to really make those uh, colors pop. Jeff, your thoughts on uh, color um, situation on printed? I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> the only shirts I've ordered are white on white graphics, so and, and I order all mine through Printful. Yeah, so I'm guessing she would have to go through and like play around with the yellows to make sure she gets the right hue so that it doesn't do that. Because she said if it wasn't her shirt, if she had ordered it, she would have been like, oh, man, and maybe returned it, you know. Yeah, the big thing to say is every screen is calibrated different. So what you get was 
will most likely not match your screen. Oh, exactly. right. You know what, Jeff? That was my question. Do you think they should be using CMKY or RGB when they're creating their graphics? It doesn't matter because they're converting it to a PNG, and PNG is an RGB graphic. So, I mean, I guess it does matter. I, I would tell you to do it as an RGB because your final project, your final product is going to be a PNG, which is in the RBG, RGB yeah. colors. Yeah, I think we might be talking like in another language to certain people who don't know about graphic uh, design and the color spacing and all that stuff. I mean, the average so, person is not going to really notice too much of a difference. How would you, like, let's say I'm doing that in PicMonkey. It's going to be RGB. It's an RGB. Okay, that's all I need to know. <laughs> Illustrator default when you out of the box a CMYK. And I, I even find myself having to uh, go back in and change it to RGB quite a bit, especially when I'm try, trying to save it as a uh, image to post somewhere because if you try saving the CMYK image, it does something to the file and it won't post properly. Right. There's a there's a loss of information because you're pretty, yeah. pretty much encoding one thing to another when you should just be carrying it straight across. Set your programs to RGB if you have that RGB capability. Joe says he uses WXYZ. <laughs> <laughs> the chat. Yes, RGB is your monitor's color space, which is actually a little bit different. That's why I say your monitor color is, is going to be different than the actual printed product. And I go through this thing with photography quite a bit um, with my clients. You know, they're viewing their photos on their monitor that is not calibrated, and <laughs> it's going to look weird. I, I got a tool where I actually calibrate the colors of my monitor so they'll match the printed product as close as possible. You're muted. <laughs> um, someone had a question. I was gonna. Uh, do you have to be have a website to get an affiliate? And Matt said, yes, you have to have your own website to become a part of Amazon affiliate. And I know to talk yeah. about that going around right now. Yeah, it helps for sure. Like it's one of those things that you, you should, should have it. Now. Right, exactly. You should have it. And then also give them all the other information that you. Because I, when I signed up for affiliate, it took me three times to get accepted. And so I was kind of figuring out what they wanted to know. You know, I showed them all my 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 um, like my Instagram stuff, my social media things, my website, and finally I was able to get in. Yeah, they want to see the website so they know how you're going to promote their products and then approve it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, that was the rejection one. Have any of you tried AMS? My brain isn't is spacing on what AMS is. No, no. Amazon Marketing Service. It's oh, that's it's right. Marketing. Okay. No. And I'm not positive, but and I don't know if AMS is it. But there's an AM. There's an Amazon marketing product that you're not supposed to use with merch, and I don't know if that's it or not. So I I can't answer the question. I remember. Chris Green talking about AMS on one of the merch mines when he was with Glenn and Young. But that's all I know about it, is that I remember him talking. That's all I know about it, literally. Um, okay, uh, okay, we already asked to ask that one. Uh, Sheree, I think I said it right this time. Does Amazon frown upon selling your designs for less on other websites? I don't think so. No, I think as long as you pay Amazon the full price they're asking, I don't care if they, you do what you got to do to sell your shirts. Yeah, yeah. Because I have, a, I put a few of mine up on Teespring and Redbubble, but. Wait, what was the question? I spaced it in. Does Amazon frown <laughs> upon you selling your designs for less on other oh. websites? No, they, that's in their FAQs, and they straight out say, no, you can put them wherever you want, and. You don't have to price match or anything. I have all my designs on my website. Um, I have 100 designs on Teespring since they now tier. And I'm loading them up in Redbubble and up others. Spread the love around. <laughs> 
Um, Richard's ask, asking how the shirts smelling lately, guys. <laughs> they stink like vinegar when they come. Mine just stink. Yeah, that, I always call that the elephant in the room when it comes to uh, Amazon merch. Is most people don't know when you get those shirts, they're going to stink your whole house up. Yeah, you got to wash them straight off. Mm -hmm. There was actually a question that came up from one of the, it was either on the Facebook group or on one of the videos where someone was asking, um, hey, oh yeah, I finally sold a shirt and got a bad review because they, oh, they said it shrunk. It was I thought it stunk. Oops. <laughs> um, they, they said it shrunk. Okay. Well, it, it will Amazon take it off the account, but I guess too if it stinks, like that's not anything that's in our control. You know what's funny? I just came up with a funny idea. Someone should make a skunk shirt with a skunk and it says scratch and sniff. So when you get it, it's already pretty much smells. It's ready. Don't wash <laughs> it. Don't wash it. Keywords. Don't wash shirt. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, if if you get a bad review for something that's like that, like the shirt stinks. Or sometimes the I saw one that the graphic wasn't printed correctly and it got shipped out. Now, how you contact them is the big mystery, because I think there's an email somewhere. But I had a shirt that got a bad review, and what I ended up just I just took it down and re-uploaded the shirt. You might be able to get a reversal too if it's something that Amazon uh, made the mistake on. Yeah, it's just I know it's sometimes tricky to get in touch with them. For stuff, you know. Oh yeah, it's a lot easier when you're a seller on the seller account to have a because they have a whole module that you go through to click and get a feedback removed. So I guess yeah, you're probably right. It's probably a lot harder. Yeah. So yeah, that one that I had a I can't even remember what the review was. It was. Oh, like it's a review, <laughs> not a feedback. I'm sorry. You know, like the little stars and something yeah. like the the review that was like. Yeah. I ordered the size six and it was too small for my eight year old or whatever it was, you know, which is like, well, maybe you just need to put your kid on a diet. I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Kidding, yeah, kidding. yeah. You should be able, you should be able to, um, I'll save you here, Margaret on that one. <laughs> well, you should be able to, uh, go to Amazon to their contact page and be able to explain your story to support and they should be able to take that down if it's Amazon's fault. Yeah. I, I, at that point, I, I didn't know. So I just took this shirt down and right up a little bit. And now it's doing great again. <laughs> so, and that's something to look at too. Like if you have a good seller that all of a sudden tanks, go see if somebody left a review on it because that's what happened with that one. I was like, man, that shirt hasn't sold in a while. Jeff smelling his shirts. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I just gosh. <laughs> Um, I have other questions that came through in the last video and from the group. I don't know if there's any more in the chat. I'd rather take those if they're here. Did I freeze again? No. No, you're good. We okay. hear you. Okay, I didn't. I didn't have any more, so I'll go to the ones that I brought in from. Um, so I didn't write their name down. Okay, somebody messaged and said that they have a question. If you are not in the U.S., can you apply? The answer is yes. I spaced again. What was the question? <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Jeff should be wearing the tinfoil hat, man. You need to climb out to today. With, like, the I'm doing too many things at once. <laughs> if you're not in the U.S., can you apply for merch? No. Yeah. But you, there's different laws for your country, though, right? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, you can. They just don't ship out of the United States. Right, right. It's, it's U.S. only for shipping. Uh, yeah, we have some foreigners in our system. Yeah, some of, some of the U.K. friends are in now and others. So. Posers. And then, what? Posers. Posers, yeah, posers. Oh. <laughs> anyway, okay, another friend asked, I'm trying to design, now this one I don't quite get the question, so maybe y'all can help me. I'm trying to design a shirt with a list of 100 plus people's names. Do you have any font recommendations since the font size of the names will be small? Arial. <laughs> Keep it simple. Yeah, something that's real blocky. I'm guessing it's like all of the donors' names on the back? Yeah, yeah. like an Arial or uh, that's the only thing I can really think of off the top of my head. Just a, a, a simple block. Yeah, Not I use... Time. Don't use times. I use impact for something that like needs. Yeah, impact. Is a good one. 
So a sans serif, like I'm gonna get fancy, sans serif? I don't know. No, and it, okay. and it makes sense that it's called impact because it's really like blocky and like, Ugh. I use impact a lot. Yeah, just something simple, because if you use the fancy, like the cursive or like uh, Times New Roman, those little tiny things are going to get blurred out and it's going to make it hard to read. I mean, I did a shirt that was a word cloud of a, basically a water drop and all the words in there. And, some, and it came out pretty good, even with the smaller fonts and everything. Okay. Okay. Okay, so another friend asked, I hope you can help. Finally sold a t-shirt and got a bad review. Oh, that's the one I just read. Darn, never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Myra asked, can you have two accounts with merch? I don't think so. No, I think it's against the terms of service. It's against the terms of service, but why not just have your brother or your dog or your, or your neighbor make account? You hear it from him. <laughs> Yeah, and, and and I was gonna sign my kids up for an account, and then found out they have to be of a certain age, so they couldn't. I because I was like, yeah, they're designing shirts. Why can't they have an account now? Mm -mm. You have to be what was it, sixteen or eighteen? I don't know exactly them. Mm -hmm. The age. So, should I keep going, or do y'all have any? Keep going. All right, I'm gonna keep going. All right, newbie question. If you okay, this one I need help with too. If you download, <laughs> if you download a pic from Pixabay at certain pixels, can you change the what? I remember that one. Can you change the pixels to match merch specifications, or do you have to leave the pic as you downloaded it? You can do whatever you want with the pic. If it's smaller and you're going to enlarge it, it's going to look like crap because it's pixel based, and you can't do that. Um, it goes back to Illustrator versus Photoshop. If the image, if it's a photo, a JPEG or something like that, it's pixel based. So if you try to enlarge it, you know it's going bigger. It can't make up missing pixels, so it will become what they call pixelated or blurry or it look like crap. So, but Pixel Bay does have vectors too, and that's why I recommend Illustrator and downloading vectors because you can resize at any size you want. But the main gist is no, you don't have to leave it exactly like you downloaded. As long I'm as it's a public domain one. I've been using that uh, Adobe Creative a lot with different designs and stuff. I actually made um, a couple, or Adobe Capture, I made a couple of shirts. Can I show? Can I share what I've made with the Adobe? Yeah, of course. So what I do is I've I used to be kind of like I used to be into cartoons and kind of draw little characters and stuff. So I, I think I can screen share. Do I just push screen share? Yep. And then I can. Oh wait, where is it going here? Hold on a second. Yeah, it's not working. There's a little tab up at the top. Do you have it already open? Do you have? Yeah. Your yeah you, on the screen share thing it says your entire screen or it says application window yeah click application window do you see that yeah and i don't i don't see it in there anyways my bad i just totally ruined the whole show <laughs> no you <laughs> do you have it open already in the background no i can let me make another uh, screen of it and see if it if this will work yeah if it's okay yeah, so like I've been using Adobe, what was it called? Adobe Capture. We talked about it last week, and it's an amazing program for um, as I'm kind of like draw little characters, and they kind of, it almost like it vectorizes them mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah, no, this isn't working. I'm sorry, guys. It's not showing up in my application window for some reason. I was going to show my um, one of my shirts, but that's not working. So we'll show we'll show that. We'll figure how to do that out on another another thing, but I thought it was cool to maybe uh, get some inspiration from some people to show I'll that share, I'll share one of the ones I did I said sure. I did this one I shared in the group too so this was a picture I took of one of my son's toys like a little toy octopus so and yeah, then I, I, yeah. I like that how it is alone like you know what would be yeah. great is if you could if somehow you can make stamps rubber stamps with that and you can like yeah. start you can literally start your own stamp company making like stamps that would be awesome yeah print on demands rubber stamps Anyway, We're, yeah, we totally went off subject. <laughs> That's okay, but seriously, I mean, it's really cool. So I've been, yeah, I've been playing with it too. And like I say, I'm waiting for that shirt to come in 
because I did I do have that one by itself where I can put it up but I'm waiting for the shirt to come in so I can see if it looks okay before I share everything else yeah okay, okay lady Jane Gray had a question that I that um, what it was uh, is there a plug-in to connect my WooCommerce on my website to my Amazon shirts that's for you, Not John. that I know of, but there is a way to do it, and I have a video about it, except for I did it for fan print. Um, WooCommerce has built in when you create a new product, instead of loading your stuff up like you would a new physical product, you click where it says simple product, and you can click it to affiliate product. And then you can insert your affiliate link to that product and change the buy now button to buy this on Amazon. Is that weed on your head, or is that the Buddha? I'm a pothead. Yeah, it's a pothead. I got it. <laughs> I couldn't make out what it was. Okay. So, um, yeah, it's built in. There's no plug-in for it, and it does it by affiliate links. So uh, if you'll send me the link to that video, I'll put it in the description below after sure. the show. Okay. Or now, or whenever you want. Sure. Um, uh, Neville's asking, will Merch allow more than one account from a single IP address? Well, that's a good question. Maybe that's why Randy keeps getting denied. Well, most ISPs, your your IP address is going to change every day unless you have paid extra for a static IP address. So I don't think that's an issue. Yeah, because Randy's still not in. He, he's been applying since October, and he's still not in. So... VPN. But I did hear that it could take up to a year now. Yeah. Okay. We, we're almost at the hour. I guess if we missed any questions, sorry. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> next week. Save next your questions week. for next week. And right now we have 89 viewers and 24 thumbs up. Go over there and give us a big thumbs up. And we'll really appreciate it. So, and, and later, if you're watching later and you have any requests for videos or questions you want um, us to address on the show, leave us a comment in the comment section down below. Most of us are in the Facebook group, Merch, Merch Minds and Merch University. And <laughs> Chris? Yes, definitely. And definitely, well, Joe wanted me to put the tinfoil hat back on again. So this is for you, Joe. And everyone out there, don't forget to take your iodine. It's really important for your body. Iodine, take it. What? <laughs> Seriously? Oh my gosh. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Jeff, where can everybody find you if they're looking for you? I'm in San Diego. Okay. I'm in my bedroom right now because it's hot outside. Look hard. Okay. Um, Cause Frog One, or I can can I post a, a YouTube link in the chat? Yeah, no, I think you can. Yeah, no. No. I'll put it in the description box. Yeah, there's my little frog there in the chat room if you want to find my channel. And where can everybody find you, Chris? I'm deep underground in a bunker 50 <laughs> feet below so the radiation can't get to me. <laughs> you will never be able to find me. <laughs> okay. Don't bother looking for him. <laughs> I love you guys. You have a YouTube channel, though. Oh, yeah. It's thriftshophustler.com. <laughs> It'll take you to It'll take you to my YouTube channel where you can go and explore a vast number of amazing and creative videos exploring the wonderful world of merch. Enter the crypts. <laughs> in the underground vault. In the mind of Chris. Okay, okay. That's good. <laughs> Mega person wants an answer. Question answered. I guess we didn't answer. Uh oh. Did, what was the question? Uh, what happens if, if you want to raise or lower prices of your shirt? I'm sorry, I draw it live. Um, yes, it remains live. You can go in there and change the price, and then they'll update it once they approve it. But they can end up removing your shirt if they miss something the first time around. So if you're if you are, I don't know what's the word. If you are uh, Pushing the line on your shirt and it's been approved, you may not want to push it any further, but that's just in general. But yes, they'll keep it live and then they'll update it with new price. Cool. Okay. So I've had that happen. 
In fact, I have a shirt that was approved, was selling. I requested a price change. They came back and said no and removed the shirt. So it doesn't even appear on my dashboard, but it's still selling and I'm still getting money for it. That's I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's not like I can go to my dashboard and remove it. That's nuts. That's nuts. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do I? Yeah. Yeah. No, I was going to say, everyone have a great week. Keep, keep hustling, keep listing your uh, designs. If you're not having sales, don't, don't let that bother you. Everyone has slumps. Everyone goes through this. Just look at your situation and just adjust accordingly. Take yeah. Xanax. That's why I take Xanax. <laughs> Find a YouTube button. Find a merch buddy, rather. Don't merch. take don't take Xanax. It's the worst thing you could do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> okay, thanks everybody for watching. Go over there and hit the thumbs up, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs>